but I just got new sheets and I wanted to share because I specifically picked these ones out for Tilly. So I guess they're technically not sheets. This is just a duvet cover, but Tilly is constantly like making biscuits in my bed sheets. And so they had so many snags like on the duvet cover. So I was looking everywhere for something like these where it already has what kind of looks like a snag so that when she does that, It'll just look like part of the sheets. I also just bought these, whoops, wrong way. There we go, a little brighter. But I just bought some satin pillowcase covers. So I've got the ones that match the duvet and then these are satin. I bought these from Ulta. I've always heard such good things about sleeping on a satin pillowcase because it doesn't absorb your skincare or any of your hair products. So it's supposed to be better for your skin and hair. And so far I'm loving them. Also, if you like sleeping on a cold pillow, like this always stays cold. So I will go ahead and link everything below, but I am loving these. I wanted to share for anyone else that has a cat and that is running into the same problem that I was. I don't know if I mentioned where I got them from. I bought them from H&M Home because I heard so many people recommend that line for sheets so i'm gonna try to link them down below if they're still available okay guys i am so excited i'm actually about to run out the door because today i'm getting my hair done by a celebrity hairstylist and i am so excited i've been looking forward to this for a few weeks and i'm getting ready to head downtown his name is andrew fitzsimmons he works with the kardashians megan fox like so many big celebrities and i'm so excited that he's doing my hair today so i just washed it last night haven't styled it at all but let me show you guys my outfit really quickly currently have on slippers but i'm gonna put on some sneakers i'm just wearing like a little jumpsuit because it's supposed to be 70 today and i put just a white button up over top i might have to throw like a trench coat over this to stay warm for now and that probably won't match but it will work but i'm gonna film some footage while i'm there i think i'm gonna film some like tiktoks and whatnot so i'm really excited to take you guys along with me back home now and I, I threw my hair half up I always love like wavy hair half up like this that was so much fun I also put my pajamas on I've got on my cat pajamas that I wear all the time even though they're Christmas pajamas also this top is a normal top actually but I wear it a lot as pajamas but anyways 
What a fun morning that was. It was so cool to meet Andrew Fitzpatrick. I know I talked, I think I talked a little bit about it in the clips before this, but he's a celebrity hairstylist. He's worked with Megan Fox, the Kardashians, like so many big celebrities. And his brand is actually coming into Ulta Beauty, which was why I got to go meet him and have him do my hair since I'm part of the Ulta Beauty Collective for 2022. So that was just a really, really cool experience. I feel so fortunate to be able to do cool things like that and like the Sigma trip that you guys saw earlier in this vlog. And I just love documenting them and filming them and I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. I will give you guys some tips that he mentioned I wanted to share. So he did my hair as you saw with a waver, but I always thought you achieved these type of waves with a three barrel waver, which I do have, and I like it. But he said he likes a waver that's shaped more like this a little bit more. And he said that sometimes with a traditional three barrel waver where you've got like the three barrels that like clamp in and out of each other, those in his opinion look a little bit too uniform and he likes the waves to be a bit more messy and a bit undone. So he prefers waivers in this shape. What else did he tell me? He said he loves using shine spray afterwards. Oh, and then he said when he places the waver in the hair, he doesn't like to always place it the same angle. So sometimes he'll clip it in this way, then this way. He likes to move it around so that it looks a little bit more undone. Also though, if you don't have a tool like that, you could achieve something very similar by like braiding your hair overnight. I always think that's a really easy way to achieve waves like this. I don't feel like I've talked that much in this vlog. It has been a lot of footage and I'm excited to put it all together, but I haven't had too many days where I've like sat down and talked to the camera, but I'm so excited to see everything put together because that Sigma trip was just a dream come true. It was so much fun to be there and to meet the team and to catch up with some of my favorite influencers. I've met An Angelica and Samantha before, but it was my first time meeting Angela and it was so much fun to meet her. I just adore all of those ladies. I love the Sigma team and it was just such a cool trip. But now I'm gonna go ahead and cook myself some food. things and vlogs before so I wanted to mention these if you follow me on Instagram you've seen me talk about these these are press-on nails I purchased these myself from the brand Glamnetic today you can see this is the set that I have on right now I think I've had these on what is it for four days now and I haven't had knock on wood any of them fall off this set is called cloud nine these are a little bit long but before this I had on this set which is called sprinkles I think I liked the set even more. I'll pop a photo up from when I did these. These I had on for a full week before I had one of them fall off. And the only reason that one of them fell off was because I was lifting my suitcase when I was going for that Sigma trip and then I dropped it and it like dropped on my hand and popped it off. But other than that, like none of them were falling off and it was actually after one week that I was like, okay, I kind of want to switch it up. I'm going to take these off and try these ones. So I tried to soak them off the way that they recommend. I like had it in like soapy warm water for a while and was trying to like gently peel them off. Oh my goodness, you guys, I could have kept these on for another week. They would not come off. It took me about an hour, which I mean, it was fine. I was like sitting there watching TV, just slowly peeling them off. But this glue is no joke. And I've tried so many press on nails in the past. And with most of them, like I think they're cute and they're fun and they're easy, but Almost every other brand I've ever tried will fall off the same day. Like I will put them on and it will fall off. I constantly have to carry nail glue in my purse. I'm just like always reapplying. But with these, knock on wood, but like these have not been falling off my nails for such long periods of time. So I'm pretty shocked. And with the sprinkles set, I actually saved them because they're reusable. So I just saved them in the box so that in a few weeks, if I decide to put these ones back on, 
I can just go ahead and redo them. So I picked these ones up at Ulta, but I'm actually debating placing an order on their website because they have a lot more styles on there. But I wanted to mention these in case you're into press on nails or you've been curious about them. A lot of them I really don't recommend. A lot of them don't stay that well, but these ones for some reason do.